Welcome everyone to PFOL tutorial again and this is the video series of creating a bookshop management in Visual C++ uh, This is the second part which I am going to show you how to create a um, main menu in Visual C++ uh, For those who didn't watch the video first part of this video so they can go and wait, watch back if you, if you want to but it's not necessary because I just show a demo uh, what is the application which we are going to create? What are the features and functions available in those application? So if you want to, you can go back and check the the first part of this video, uh, or you can just continue from here. Uh, for that, you need a Visual Studio. This I have installed Visual Studio here, uh, 2015 a community version. So it's available free online. Just you can just Google it, or uh, you can go straight to the Microsoft website and you can download it. It's free, so anyone can download. But as I said earlier in this earlier video, it is not necessary to have a Visual Studio alone. Uh, you can use some other application like Code Blocks or Eclipse, such as like that. So as per your convenience, you can use. I prefer Visual Studio. Uh, if you like some other applications or uh, with this it comes with a compiler or even a text editor you can use uh, it's up to you uh, let's uh, start now to create a main function that means the main menu uh, I open the Visual Studio then uh, okay then here all right I already open here uh, here after once you get your Visual Studio you just go to file and go to new and new file okay or just you can press ctrl n here by to opening in a shortcut way just if you press ctrl n let me show you what you will get it here you will find this window pops up and there is some function you select Visual C++ here which is already selected in my case I don't know I think at first time you will get the general so you need to select Visual C++ and here C++ file dot cvp just select that and open it and you will get a file like this with the name uh, source 1 which I already opened one or two files that is showing source 3 if you opening it first time it will sh show you source 1 alright uh, now let's start the coding uh, as I told you this is not for a complete uh, beginners if you are a complete beginner for Visual C++ uh, you this tutorial may be not suitable for you uh, because I'm not going to explain from the basic uh, which is not possible also because in this series I'm going to show you only the bookshop management application how it's going to how I'm going to create it in an effective way uh, but no problem if you are beginners uh, just uh, refer some other videos which is might be available in YouTube or uh, Google it just you can check it on and you can come back to this video for more uh, no more uh, you to more learning more knowledge to gain so you know how mainly even though you learn the basics even maybe you don't know how to apply where to apply so in here you can you will get some idea how you can use your uh, basic knowledge in C++ or visual C++ okay now let's start coding uh, here I'm going to start with as everyone start include IO stream okay include IO stream is everyone know that a library to to use C in C out command and here yeah, I'm going to give a using name space std okay uh, sorry uh, as you everyone know that using namespace std to uh, prevent it from repeating std from each and every line so here oh what is that 
website. Uh, this is an, a variable. I'm going to declare it as a global variable integer error, uh, which you will know later on what is the use of it. Just follow with me. To uh, I will show you and I will explain you why this variable you will useful for to to declare as a global variable. Now I have tried void main main function. Okay. So within that, within this main function, we are going to create. Uh, we are going to insert type our coding. So I will start now. Here integer choice this is the again one more variable integer choice to get the input from the user so I'm going to use this variable uh, choice so it is just uh, always when you coding try to give us something similar name to the variable so you will be able to identify while you are using that and here uh, see how this application lets you to view and search any details you want to know about books available in wisdom bookshop I just to give a name at the for a bookshop as a wisdom bookshop uh, you can choose any name where you wa you want to give so I use the wisdom bookshop name okay and and uh, this is just an a uh, welcome message when you opening it okay all right so this C out command will print this message on the screen this uh, n and will send to the next line and this T will give a tab space on the screen so that will be useful to just uh, you know to modify the screen a little bit so you can use your own uh, welcome message and uh, you can modify as you like and you, you know uh, okay now I'm going to give a menu functions that going to be displayed in the sorry before that I I give you some more welcome message and one small message below the welcome message is please log in all right okay I'm going to uh, put the menu now in a loop uh, do I loop which uh, normally those who know the C++ or any other programming language they might uh, aware about the while loops and do while loops and uh, you know a for loop such as that so here I'm going to use a do while loop okay in this do while loop I am going to create a C in command but before that I am going to use C in dot clear to prevent any you know any previous inputs to you know work with this command so I will explain you what is this uh, later on uh, in details uh, and okay here please select an option from the given menu below okay see out uh, admin login staff login guest login change font size and finally change team uh, okay one more exit all right so these are the six option which we going to be display in the main menu like admin login staff login guest login and change font size and you know change team uh, here change team and exit for exit I give zero as an input so then okay we will give a small 
do while within the this do while loop this do while loop will helps to prevent any uh, any data from the user which going to input is a uh, you know invalid input I for example if uh, user inputs an uh, abc or something like you know which is not number or any other invalid uh, input uh, or symbol such as that so this will show show an uh, error message and you know it will give an one more chance to uh, the user to enter a valid input so otherwise you know the program will sh uh, show some errors or bugs and it may terminate so even though if sometime in case uh, user input by mistake some invalid input so they might not be able to continue with the application so for that this function will help which I'm going to create now okay error error equals uh, now I'm assigning error variable which we created here already so that's why I told you before that I'm going to show you why I this to create this global variable because this input uh, function which I'm going to create now I'm going to use it in all the places throughout the software to prevent any uh, input errors from the user and they can uh, they are able to enter a valid input until they give the valid input so this is the helpful to keep the application more user friendly okay just follow me my command now I'm going to give C out please enter your selection okay C in choice okay now this will give the user to input their uh, choice uh, like you know one or two to select the uh, options which they wish to and if this if condition will help to um, prevent if any invalid input if seen dot fail it means they give if they give the invalid input then it will go through this condition which is please enter valid input okay so that means if user entered any in invalid input so it will show you the sh it will show them okay please enter a valid input then it will assign error equal one I will show you why it is one then it will clear the input whatever out of the user input and it will this ignore I, I will tell you why it is that later on means that uh, this will repeat until 80 times they it will give the chance so so you know it's not possible let us you know in get in putting an invalid for 80 times so just I give that uh, okay and then I close the do while loop and while error equal to 1 so it means sorry uh, here I assign 0 here so if z z uh, error equal to zero, it will show this one. And if if input fails, then it will go to uh, invalid input error message, and it will ask for a input again because it will rotate here. It will rotate here, but only if 
error message equal to 1 only it will repeat if it is not uh, 0 so it won't repeat so that's why I have given here while error e equal to 1 so if error equal to 1 means there is some error here so there is some oh, error mean it's uh, some in invalid input occurred from the user so it will loop through until the until user enter valid input okay now we will go continue the coding and we will close the main function so this is a main function i'm i did not still i didn't give what what to do uh, what is the actions to be going uh, you know what are the functions to be performed while they give the inputs so we will save this one and we will just run and check whether it's working properly or not so i will show you how to save and i have to compile this here you go to file and here click save uh, these are the c this for this sample code I am going to make you available for download online and I will provide the link as soon as possible for you in the description uh, below uh, okay I'm going to create a folder now here okay new folder called mm, what I say wisdom samples okay sorry mm, wisdom samples okay and okay while naming um, I okay first I give them a main main okay so while naming you need to be careful uh, you should not use a uh, space between like okay main menu like that it should be one word and it should not start with a number or symbols L you cannot give a name like this or you cannot give a name like this so it should be uh, start with uh, letters you can give uh, at the end numbers but you cannot give at the beginning so and it should be one word and it should not start with numbers or symbols okay keep it uh, in the mind that one very carefully okay now I'm going to give this one name main and I save it and I'm going to compile it now alright see here it's the now name changes here to main.cpp and go to start and all application but uh, I have here shortcut already but still I will show you where it is available those who uh, doesn't know how to take it uh, Microsoft Visual Studio what is this no I think that's an old one mm. okay Visual Studio 2015 here here there is a developer command prompt for Visual Studio 2015 available so you click that and you will get a console window like this okay uh, and this one I'm going to show you how to compile it so you will get like this and first let me go sorry mm, okay the first you need to find the folder where you created it's in my I have created that one my computer uh, C drive S inside the C drive uh, CD wisdom samples I think yeah inside the samples its file name is main so what you you give CL CL means compile main dot cpp you should give the extension with the file name so I have given name main so main.cpp so if you give some other different name you can give whatever you want and make sure to follow the same pattern while you compile okay then press enter it will compile 
okay here now it's showing one error message the left brace was unmatched at the end of file ah uh, okay you see here I have open one brace here and I close here I did not close this one see it's showing so okay uh, so this is the way you can